start out with some yard sale stuff that I found and it's from two separate yard sales so the first one I found these like leggings and they came from the Dollar General these are just like the other ones that I hauled and they're $15 they're in my size and I paid two dollars for these they're brand new so well, that was an exciting find then uh, well no actually this is three yard sales thinking about it uh, at another different yard sale I found two Orly nail polishes and three OPIs so the Orly uh, nail polishes this is passion fruit it's a bright neon pink this one's red carpet it's red with silver glitter it shimmers in there uh, first OPI one is called Strawberry Margarita, and it's just a really pretty creamy pink. This one is a red, and it's called Monsooner or Later. And then this beautiful pink with a uh, purple-blue duochrome is La Positively Hot. So I got all these polishes, and uh, Nanny got a Merle Norman Loose Powder, brand new, for $2.00. So, well worth it at that yard sale. And this other yard sale, I found Connor some clothes, but I don't feel like going back and getting out of his closet. I already put his stuff up. So, uh, I will show you the toys. I know this retails for $15 at Walmart, and I got it at a yard sale yesterday for $2. The lady wanted three, but I asked her if she'd take two. Um... And then this was two, and it's a flip-flop alphabet blocks. Um, it's for three years old plus, but I figured he play with it now, and then when he's starting to learn his alphabet and stuff, this will be great. Because you have A, and then you have an apple, um, the letter B, and a B, C, and car, so they can associate the letter with actual words that they would, uh, should probably have in their vocabulary by then anyways. So... I was excited to find that as well so that's all for that's all for yard sales and then at walmart i picked up um some clothes actually my mom bought these clothes for me uh so she's really good like she buys me and my sister stuff like crazy and the boys too aiden and connor so um whenever we go out with her we always come home with goodies anyways I got this a v-neck uh, basic white tee with a pocket I got it in a size 4x so it will be extra flowy and big on me so I can pair it with some statement necklaces and some leggings I got that same identical shirt in gray which is all wadded up I got this navy like sapphire or not not navy it's pff, it's like a royal blue sapphire blue tank top cami and then uh, as far as clothing goes, the last thing I got are these like snake kind of skin print leggings, which I am in love with. So hence why I also got a white and a gray shirt because it will go great with these. And uh, before I forget, this necklace is part of the haul. It's from Kmart. It was a $12.99. I went there to look for shoes and came out with just this necklace. Also at Walmart, I found I just happened to see this at the register and I picked it up. It's Island Wind Hand Sanitizer from Germex. So I haven't smelt it yet, but I'm sure it smells divine and I can't wait to start using it in the bathroom. Uh, two candles because I have blown through the candles that I hold. Um, I burn one in the kitchen, I burn one in the living room, uh, sometimes the bathroom. So you know sometimes my makeup table but I got a candle in hazelnut cream which is my all-time favorite mainstays ca uh, candle so I grabbed that one and then uh, better homes and gardens uh, got the tropical plumeria petals which is just very spring and summery and I love the way it smelled so I grabbed that one. this is a haul for um, and I'm including these things in this particular haul because um, it's new backgrounds for my nail art tutorials and maybe other hauls or this and that in the future. But I picked up a couple of these scrapbook paper tablets. This is in the one called Hood Anonymy. And it has 100 sheets for $3. It has the owls and... 
was a bunch of different colorful ones. And then I also got these photo mats. Um, that's designer paper. I got these photo mats. And this is just in the Brights collection. A hundred um, sheets also for $3. And um, so grab that. And I already made one um, new background for a nail tutorial. And I did film on top of that. Came out really pretty. And then I picked this up for a dollar. It's cosmic, um, like a galaxy paper. So I thought that would be beautiful for a background. And then I picked this one up. It's glitter paper and night sky. It's very glitter. So I thought those would be great for new backgrounds. I was getting bored with the pink or white, so something new. And then also I had to pick up some essential stuff. I got some of these 50 count ovals for makeup removal. And these oversized cotton balls and nail polish remover. I only use acetone, the 100% acetone. And then um, oil free eye makeup remover, essential. And then I also uh, got these makeup remover cloths. These are so soft. It was um, three dollars for three of them, and I've used I used the pink one the other night for the first time, and it did uh, remove makeup very nicely, along with a skin cleanser, obviously, and an eye makeup remover. But they're so soft on your skin, and uh, they're washable, and you don't have to worry about if you use a washcloth um, staining it up with your makeup. Just use these. I mean, it is three dollars, but they're pr they're really nice picked up some new wax cubes. I got strawberry lemonade which smells very nice and it's very strong. Uh, Lilac Breeze is a repurchase for me and I just really love this one. And Honeysuckle also is a repurchase. So these are perfect for spring. And uh, also I want to mention, I forgot to mention, this is from several trips to Walmart so uh, I don't have like bukus of money and then like I said my mom sometimes gets me some things so this is from just several trips to Walmart um then I got these earrings it's really nice and pretty I uh, got this Rimmel uh, London lip balm uh, another uh, Sally Hansen Insta Dry I got these uh, little unique kind of triangle earrings for a dollar. Uh, I wanted to try the new Maybelline Colossal, Cha Colossal Chaotic Lash Mascara, so I grabbed this. Um, the Hard Candy Glamouflage Concealer, grab that. I've been wanting to try that for a while, but I never grabbed it. And, um,. A fan brush from e.l.f. to wipe off flyaways. And an eyelash and brow brush. So a spoolie. Mine broke, so I wanted another one. And then uh, nail stuff. I've got the manicure system from Salon Perfect. You, um, oh, almost trying to sneeze. A clean bond and a shine. So it's a three part system. You have the uh, cleaner for your nails, then the bonder, so the base coat, and the top coat. So I'm going to want to try this out. I'm going to try it out today. I'm in desperate need for a new Manny. Mine's chipped everywhere and I broke two nails. Great. Anyways, <laughs> I am so annoyed about that. Um, anyways, um, I'm wearing this today. I got this CoverGirl eyeshadow quad in blooming blushes. It's beautiful, but I do want to point out if you try these, they're very powdery, tons of fallout. Don't let that straight let you stray away from them because they're gorgeous. I've worn this three times since I got it, and I've only had it like a week. And um, but they're so powdery, you can see I've already hit pan on this brown, and I've used it three times, you guys. So I mean. You know whatever but they're they're about seven dollars a piece but very nice colors and if you use a sponge applicator you get really nice color payoff so i filmed a tutorial using the sponge applicator today and uh i've had this for a while and i've used it several times my birthday makeup uh just everyday kind of makeup going out makeup this and that blah blah, blah. um it's hard candy natural eyes palette it's supposed to be in comparison to the um two-faced um, 
palette. So you get an eye primer, all these really nice eyeshadows, a sponge applicator, and an eyeliner. So for eight dollars, you can't beat that. Anyways, um, I'm gonna have to end the haul here. Bubby's getting fussy and bored. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and stay tuned for more hauls.